The body of kidnapped American computer engineer Bruce Morgenholt was discovered in a village in Peru this morning. Implicated in the kidnapping and failed ransom attempt is Hugo Lacerda, alleged leader of the People's Voice, a newly formed guerrilla organization. Here we see the USS Clarence E. Walsh en route to the Yellow Sea for her first assignment amid rising tensions in the region. Dubbed the flagship of a 21st century fleet by Defense Secretary Mason, who reaffirmed America's commitment to our Japanese allies. It is our hope that the presence of the Walsh, now the world's premier electronic and information warfare platform, will help defuse the tensions in the region. Information you recovered in Peru makes it look like Hugo Lacerda was contracted by a third party to kidnap and interrogate Morgenholt. His payment was in weapons. He appears to be using those arms to equip his own men and pay off debts to other guerrilla groups. Or maybe Lacerda is a nickel ante loser, but maybe he's learned some things from Morgan Holt that we don't want anyone to know. Maria Narcissa is out to sea so there's no escape. Board her. Search her. Find out who Lacerda's been dealing with. And then, make sure he doesn't have an opportunity to spread what he knows. Fifth Freedom. What Morgan Holt knew about the mass kernels, recursive computation, and weaponized algorithms is akin to what Oppenheimer knew about atoms or what Turing knew about digital computers. Project Watson, the United Nations investigation into the mass kernels, will be remembered for centuries alongside the Manhattan Project as fundamental research that changed the nature of warfare forever. Imagine if Che Guevara had kidnapped and interrogated Oppenheimer in 1959, and you have a pretty accurate parallel of the situation we're in right now. We're going to send the helicopter out about 40 clicks ahead of the Maria Narcissa and leave you in the water on her course. You'll board covertly onto the bow. Search the ship and the holds. Find out what you can about the arms shipments and who Lacerda is dealing with. Satellite imaging shows the Maria Narcissa racks a small launch on the stern. That will be your primary extraction. If things go badly, we might be able to arrange to pluck you out of the sea. We'll keep the Walsh inside a helicopter range of the target vessel at all times. If something goes wrong, we should be able to assist in extraction. If you play it safe, we'll recover you in the ship's launch from open water once you're out of visual range of the ship. Fisher, we just pulled up Silistinia's last dry dock report for the Maria Narcissa. They have a newly installed central alarm system. Don't tell me. Three alarms and the mission is over? Of course not. This is no video game, Fisher. But you don't want the whole place alerted to your presence. Keep it under control.
Professor, it looks like Lacerda is spreading around his newfound wealth, paying off debts with some of the arms that were delivered to him. You want me to scan any more weapons crates? Better idea. Plant tracking devices on them, and we can see who they end up getting delivered to. Okay. Good job, Sam. That's the first crate. Keep your eyes peeled for any more. All right. Fisher, we just intercepted a radio call from the Maria Narcissa. She's reporting a hull leak and asking for an escort. The ship is sinking. No, but apparently several compartments are flooded. You'll need to activate the bilge in the forward machine room to access all the cargo holds. There should be a large pump in here that you can use to drain the forward cargo hold. I'll find it. That'll drain the flooded compartments. Now you can search for the bill of lading attached to Lacerda shipments. All right. I'm betting that Lacerda's shipping container is somewhere in this compartment. The bill of lading should be mounted on the side. I'll have a look around. Good work, Sam. It looks like whoever delivered these arms to Lacerda was operating through a proxy. Who? Mercantile Costa Fuerta Seguridad de Panama. Offshore bankers? Yeah, the cigar-chomping kind. Great. I love bureaucrats. You still need to recover the transit ledgers so we can figure out who else Lacerda is dealing with. 
Try the ship's office. They should have that information. Sensors in your suit are detecting a lot of fumes down there. Yeah, I can smell it. Some kind of gas leak. Could be enough to be a serious explosive hazard. We can't have any firing in the engine room. Wonderful. And don't expect the enemy to be smart enough to realize that. They might still open fire on you if they see you. I get the message. I'll be discreet.
Sam, you're near the ship's office. This deck, starboard side. I'll find the transit ledgers there. That's where they should be keeping them. Transit ledgers are forged. They say Lacerda's container is full of sugarcane and coconuts from a man named Nikaryakov in Malaysia. Nikaryakov. I remember that name. Nikaryakov is a code name that Philippine drug dealers use to indicate arms shipments. So instead of nuts from Malaysia, Lacerda got guns from an imaginary Russian? Exactly. Now why don't you go find out where Lacerda is hiding? The captain probably knows where he is. Good idea. Why don't you head to the bridge and ask? Okay, Sam. Judging by the numbering on the crates, that's about half of them. See if you can find the rest. There was something there just a moment ago. Good job, Sam. Two more crates to go. I hear you have a special passenger tonight. What? I'm the guy who's here to cash the checks Lacerda's been writing. Where is he? That son of a... He was provoking my men, so I gave him my own cabin to shut him up. That's very kind of you. Be careful. He brought some personal bodyguards. They look dangerous. I'm not afraid of Lacerda's thugs. No, they're not Peruvian. They're Europeans, I think. Bros. Thanks for the tip. The pleasure is all mine. So Lacerda is holed up in the captain's quarters. Where's that? Third deck, port side. The two interior stairwells are the only access to that deck.
you're so upset. You got your pass the inspection. You think it's easy to get through the canal zone with all the crackdowns these days? I don't care if it's hard. It's easy? No. But it's insolent. Forcing me. I can inspect it out of my own pocket. Mr. Conviction, this vice president, Senor Segundo, Mr. Guerreros. Ha! I'll show him. Fine. But I will also have him make him pay. I'll make him pay double, for my name is not Hugo Lacerda. Great. Not exactly, but if it makes you feel better to pray. Please don't kill me. Lacerda, come on. Calm Bring him down. Drink. Uh, uh, see, si. I'm looking for some rum. What, you need a hand? No, no, I, I'll find it. Good job. Please let me go. I won't tell them I saw you. You don't understand what's happening here, do you? Morgan Holt, your goons tortured him to death and I'm holding you responsible. Oh, no! It's not my fault! The only thing worse than a coward is a liar. You gave the order, and now you're gonna die for it. Please! First, tell me who contracted you to kidnap him. I... I don't know. I swear! I was contacted indirectly. I was warned not to try and find out. Come on, Lacerda, hurry up! Uh, un momento! You'd better let me go, or they'll come looking. You wish. Good job, Fisher. I'll inform the Joint Chiefs that Lacerda is no longer a threat. Your primary objectives are completed. We can extract you whenever you're ready. One more crate to go. 